title, please. My name is Brandon Eidlett, A-Y-D-L-E-T-T, and title is meteorologist. Okay, so Brandon, what can you tell us about the typhoon? Uh, the typhoon is uh, still approaching the Marianas. It's moving pretty quickly toward the west at about uh, 21 miles per hour. It is uh, approaching uh, the CNMI, moving just south of west. And we're expecting it to pass over Rhoda uh, this afternoon uh, with maximum sustained winds of about 110 miles per hour. Uh, it is, uh, like I said, moving just a little bit south of west. It's going to come a little closer to Guam, bringing uh, typhoon force winds this afternoon. Yeah, and so what do people need to prepare, be prepared for if they haven't all yet? Uh, one thing to keep in mind is we are in core one. The governor put us in that status this morning at four. Uh, so if you have any preparations left to do, you should do them immediately. Heavy rain, thunderstorms uh, will be here probably by 10, 11 o'clock this morning. And when the, show when the showers reach here, uh, we're going to start seeing a lot of stronger gusty winds and you do not want to be outside in that. Uh, the winds will steadily increase through the afternoon, evening hours with typhoon force winds expected uh, around uh, sunset. Yeah, and while we saw this uh, the storm track further south overnight, do we see it possibly going getting closer to us? That is correct. Uh, it could definitely come a little bit closer. Uh, the typhoon tracks, although they tend to go in a straight line, if you look at the hour-by-hour -hour satellite imagery, uh, the storms do bobble a little bit north and south, and uh, depending on uh, how much it goes north or south, it could result in some pretty significant differences in wind speeds and wind directions. So ultimately, don't let down your guard, stay in shelter, and wait until the governor puts us back into Core 4.